Hello, everybody, and welcome to Weird Spins DVD Friday. Uh, today we're doing a film that's a little bit more lighthearted than the ones that I featured so far. Uh, it's one of my favorites, and I can't honestly say why, because I know that in so many ways it's kind of terrible, but uh, that kind of fits everything that I really appreciate in most cinema beyond liking quality animation and 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 such fair as that um it stars a guy named david love who i don't know if he did anything else and don bender who she was she was uh, famous for a radio program an old-time radio drama called one man's family she played a character uh starting at the age of seven named margaret on that show and she was on that program for 17 years uh, she also made regular appearances that I'm aware of on uh, the George Burns and Gracie Allen radio show. Uh, the director, uh, Tom Grafe, also appears in the film under the name Tom Lockyer as a character named Joe. Uh, our film, Teenagers from Outer Space, is about a group of aliens who come down in a UFO and well, I guess it's, I guess it, we'll say a flying saucer because we know it's a flying saucer in the film. It's not unidentified. We see them get out of it. So bad terminology. Uh, first thing that happens, one of these aliens basically takes out a ray gun and blasts a dog that's barking at him. Uh, David Love's character gets out and finds dog tags and recognizes, okay, there are intelligent beings on this planet and he's of the mindset that hey basically what our goals are here which is to populate the earth with some monsters called gargan so that they can graze and then these guys will have something to feed on would basically depopulate everything else on the planet namely us humans so he doesn't want that to happen and he tries to approach his crew about it and they're just not having it basically they live in a uh, a really terrible society where people don't have parents, they don't have families, they pride themselves on that, they pride themselves on suppressing emotion, they see themselves as superior. There's a lot of kind of Nazi overtones going on with them basically, and he's got some forbidden book about their past and their more humanitarian type sides and giving type sides. Uh, basically they take this away from him so he goes on the lamp and he winds up from those dog tags uh, at the house of a young girl who tries to then help him escape. Initially they think he's military or something. Uh, meanwhile the aliens are going across the city just looking for this guy and reducing people left and right to skeletons with ray guns. Uh, and it's done in such a way that the pacing is good and the story propels itself nicely but we really don't have a lot of money, so the ray guns basically and drop skeletons on strings are kind of campy. The performances are really campy, and, and, and some of the casting seems way out of place, especially Derek. Derek seems out of place, uh, his character, because just the way he delivers lines, he's very snarky and <laughs> condescending much of the time, which doesn't really fit well with the character's mold of trying to be more rational and more of a person who's trying to do the right thing. Uh, the biggest flaw in it, which I think is absolutely magical, is when we finally get the reveal on the Gargan. And I'm sure if you're willing to see the movie anyway, you probably don't mind the spoiler. Somebody went to the supermarket, bought a lobster, and dangled it into camera on a string in silhouette. I am not making that up. That is their monster. And it is absolutely marvelous. It is so bad. So, I, I cannot tell you how much I love, cherish, just think this movie is so much fun. I can watch it with Mystery Science Theater riffing it or without. It's just fun the whole way and I'd love to see it on a midnight screening if somebody got a 35 millimeter print today and put it in, even if they just went off of a blu-ray and projected it on a screen to see it with an audience I would love to see this movie with an audience especially if I saw it with an audience who had never seen it it would be so much fun so here's the trailer for it 
and I hope you enjoy the trailer, Teenagers from Outer Space, one of my all-time favorite films. Instructions are to prepare for an attack by an unknown enemy. That's what he meant. Something behind this, something we don't understand. The weapon he uses, it's unheard of. Blasting flesh right off the bones. Master control to fleet, set flight pattern to minus point zero eight. Increase speed. They're coming right at us! Get down inside the cave! Side note, an extra fun bit of trivia. Uh, this was an independent film and when it was picked up by Warner Brothers, they initially distributed it on a double bill with a freshly dubbed copy of a movie called Godzilla Raids Again. I think it was under another title at the time, but it actually played with a Godzilla film on its first release. That's it for DVD Fridays on Weird Spins. Uh, life is pizza. Send records. See you real soon.